In the previous lesson, we looked at adding a data source to an analysis services multidimensional solution. And this time, we're going to look at adding multiple data sources. So it's actually very easy to add multiple data sources. But first, let's talk about why you might want to do that. Why wouldn't everything just be in the same data source or the same data warehouse? So let's look at one example of why you might have multiple data sources. So in my relational database, I have my Contoso data warehouse with all of its many tables. But I have another database called reference data. And in this example, I just have one table in here. But this is a table that lists information about zip codes. So it gets down to statistical area classifications. And these classifications can change from time to time. They might be used in a lot of different data marts or data warehouses I have in my company. So I don't actually load this into every database, uh, but I just have a reference table out here. So that's one example of why you might, in fact, want to have multiple data sources. Let's go back to our project and actually add that second data source, and then we'll create a data source view using both of these. So if I, again, right-click on my data sources and click New Data Source, I come to the wizard. I'm getting tired of the wizard. I'll tell it I don't want to see that again. Then I land on the same dialog box I had before. I don't want the same data source again, so I'll click New. On this dialog box, it's the same process as before to define the data source. Now Solution Explorer has both data sources, so I can use them in my solution. The data sources will be used in a data source view. So I'm going to create a new data source view for my project. When I create a data source view, I can choose one or the other of the data sources. Now, in this lesson, we do want both of them in the data source view, but the wizard doesn't let you do that. So we'll have to actually create the data source view, then add the second data source later on. So my main data source is the data warehouse. So I'll choose that one and click Next. And not to overwhelm you, we'll just select a couple of tables. One of those will be the store. The second one will be the sales. Click Next, and I'll accept the default name for the data source view. So notice the data source view is added to my data source views folder, and I can see the two tables that I selected. I want to bring in that reference table as well, and the way I can do that is just right click in this field here, click on Add Remove Tables. And the data source, since I have more than one, is an active list, and I can choose the other data source. And I'll select my table from that data source and click OK. And that's really all there is to bringing tables into your data source view from multiple data sources. So again, create the data source. Create the data source view if you don't have one. And then as you add tables, you can add them from either data source. In the next lesson, we'll look at starting to relate these tables together and how we can really use them within the solution.